everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. This week I am playing with the Just My Type stamp set. I adore this set. Um, not only does it have this really cute typewriter, but it's got all these little accessories that you can put on your typewriter. I really like this one right here where the paper is folded over. So I incorporated that in my card. Um, I wanted to make a baby card to go with a hello. So I am using the best family ever and I'm gonna use that little baby sentiment right there. All right, so let's do our stamping first. We're gonna use a piece of basic white. And because these are photopolymer stamps, they're um, sometimes the big solid photopolymer stamps like this have trouble um, in the middle. And it, it doesn't always happen to me, it only happens on certain work surfaces. So if you find that when you're stamping and you're not getting that solid image right there, put some kind of foam mat underneath. You can use a piercing mat. Um, you could use a piece of fun foam from the craft store. Um, just a little tip on these bigger solid photopolymer stamps. Now I'm stamping this one in memento black on basic white. And then I'm gonna take that little piece of paper image that has that folded corner. I'll put that right there. And let's take some bubble bath ink and we'll stamp the heart right there in the middle and then stamp baby over the top of it in memento black as well. Now I'm going to stamp my flowers and I want three of them. So I'm going to do one, two, and three, and this is in Berry Burst. Last but not least, let's get our hello. And this is actually one long stamp. You don't have to mount each individual. And I'm gonna use a circle punch to punch out these letters. I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna do it over here on the edge, like that. Okay. Now this stamp set doesn't have matching dies, but you can use your scissors to easily cut this out. And I recommend getting a pair of our paper snips. They're only about $10 and they are a perfect solution for fussy cutting. They're small and they're very sharp. So I always say stay on the outside of your black line, go around and just kind of leave a tiny white border around the edge of your image. That way, the eye is only gonna see that black line. It's not gonna see your white edge that you're cutting. Okay, so there's our little typewriter. All right, now let's take these little flowers, and these are a little bit fussier to cut, but not terribly difficult. I recommend just cutting away that excess cardstock and then just go around each one, leaving that little white border around. And notice I'm using my left hand to turn the paper. I'm not turning my scissors and I'm staying right there in the middle of my scissor blades. All right, so let me do all three of these. All right, now I'm gonna use a three quarter inch circle punch and Stampin' Up! doesn't sell this circle punch anymore. So if you don't have it, I will have a link to one that you can get on Amazon on my blog if you need one. It's a good one to have. I use it quite a bit. All right, so punch each of those out and we'll set all of that aside and we're gonna do a little bit of embossing. This bubble bath right here has um, some embossing and I'm gonna use the Time Worn Tight Embossing Folder. Now I don't wanna emboss my whole piece, I'm just gonna do half of it. So take off all your plates, you just need plate one. And I'm actually gonna adhere my DSP up here at the top like this. So, I mean, ideally you could emboss the whole thing if you want, but I'm just gonna stick it in about halfway like that. And you wanna kind of make sure that you've got it in there straight and then set that down and add your embossing plate on top. And 
run it through. And there we have just half of it embossed. All right, so let's get this adorable little paper. This is our Zany Zoo designer series paper. And I'm gonna use the black and white print side. And I'm gonna put that down here. And I'm gonna separate these two with a bubble bath bow, bubble bath satin ribbon bow. And you wanna twist your ribbon like that so it's gonna lay down flat. And then as you go through, pull that in through, keeping it flat, and then you can kind of manipulate it before you tighten it up. Pull those ends and get it exactly how you want it before you tighten it up. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's see, maybe one more pull, there we go. I'm gonna slide it over to the left side. Well, it's being very temperamental. Okay, let's leave it. I'm gonna snip this off like that. And then we, let's make sure we get it arranged nicely. And we'll take our little typewriter and some dimensionals. Put that on first, like that kind of overlapping that ribbon. And then I'm gonna take my three flowers And we'll put them on here like that. And then we'll put two down here at the bottom like this and one up here at the top. Now for the hello, I'm gonna flip them all over and I'm gonna put dimensionals on the back of these as well. And what I like to do is to use some kind of straight edge, like a ruler, or even an edge of your notebook, or a piece of cardstock, whatever, a piece of chipboard, and that's gonna help me line them up. And I'm gonna lay them down, and before I really kind of press them in, press that adhesive in, we're gonna make sure that they're straight. So I'm gonna take my ruler, I'm gonna make my paper straight. If you have grid paper, it's a great time to use it. And I'm gonna start from one end and go to the other end and gonna kind of move towards the middle. So we need H-E-L-L-O. Why was I thinking I had two L's? I mean two O's, I don't know, it's two L's. <laughs> there we go and then stick that there. And now I can adjust these to make sure they're all nice and straight. Your dimensional has some give to it, so you can peel it up as you go. I think that looks pretty good. All right, let's put it on our card base. I have a Berry Burst card base, and we're just gonna lay it flat with stamp and seal. I also have a piece of basic white, four by five and a fourth that's gonna go on the inside. Now the measurements for this card will be on a free PDF on my blog, so make sure you click the link here on YouTube, hop over and grab it. And then I'm gonna use some of our pastel adhesive-backed sequins to put in the middle of our flowers. There we go. Now I have another card that is exactly the same card just in a different color scheme. I thought I would show you that too. This one uses bubble bath, but it uses um, Tahitian Tide. Actually, no, I'm sorry, I was wrong, not Tahitian Tide, it's Azure Afternoon. So depending on what you like, I kind of was sticking with the pinks this week, but this one I liked too, and I threw in that color as well. 
All right, you guys, let me know if you have questions. Make sure you click the link here on YouTube to hop over to my blog, get that free PDF, and check out my other Just My Type projects as well. Thanks, everybody. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.